Drop the roof and let the smoke clear. I got diamonds doing to see slides in both ears. Dice rolling on the Las Vegas strip tonight. Hey guys, and welcome back to my channel. Hey y'all, I've been missing y'all. Y'all don't even understand what has been going on in my life. I have not vlogged in over a week. I have been physically, mentally, emotionally, everything drained, y'all. And I was just like, I'm not picking up no camera. I'm not picking up no camera for a while. And I did exactly that. But I did plan on making sure that I recorded today because I am going to the doctor and praying to the lords and the heavens above that we get this freaking cast off. Okay, y'all, I'm so over this cast. It's not even funny. So, um, I got up this morning, got ready, got there ready. I'm about to take her to school right now. I'm charging up the car because it's really low. And then I'm going to drop her off and head it straight to the freaking doctor's um, office. My appointment is at 920. I got it right this time. It's on the card. So, we ain't going to have no mishaps like we did last time. I'm hoping that they can park my car this time because last time they couldn't park it. Even though I put it in valet mode, it was a whole little situation there. But yeah, y'all, I just wanted to come on here and let y'all know I have a lot of chores to do at home. I'm praying that I get this off because if I get this off, I'm going to do get home, do all of the stuff that I have to do, like folding clothes and just trying to deep clean a little bit because I literally have not deep cleaned since the beginning of January or maybe like the ending of December because I broke my ankle on the 13th. The, the beginning of January, you know, my mom was in a house fire. I flew out, came back home, broke my ankle once I broke my ankle, I haven't really, I've done surface cleaning, but I haven't been able to like really, really clean my house. And y'all, it is driving me insane. Like it bothers the hell out of me. So if I get this cast off today, I'm hoping that I can get some stuff done. And also y'all, um, I've been walking on my foot for the last two weeks, maybe not even two weeks. I'll say the last week I have been walking on my actual foot. So I'm just hoping I ain't doing any more damage than I've already had. So, y'all say some prayers for your girl. I will see y'all when I get to the doctor's office. Good morning. I love y'all. Thank y'all for being here. Thank y'all for sticking around if you're here. And yeah, I'll see y'all in a minute. All right, y'all, we here. And they about to take the cast off to do an x-ray. Hopefully, they don't have to put another one back on. Prayers in the comments. Prayers. All right, I brought Kylie because Kylie's experience with removing cats. Hi, Kylie. Yeah. I've, I've done it before, but I haven't done one on okay. my own. So, like, I'm like. Hi, Kylie. Hi. I love your shoes. Thank you. Yeah. Hopefully, I get the word too now. Uh, you know? Thanks, <laughs> All right. So, um, does she wait it? Just, she should be fine. Just like this? Like that. You can have her come up. Okay. We'll pull this out. Yeah. All righty. And we'll go on the side first. No question. Okay. All right, y'all. As y'all can see, I am getting my cast off. And let me just say, this was the scariest thing I have ever experienced. Like, y'all, when I thought I was going to get my legs sliced open, the lady was new. She had, um, I think she had only did this once or this was her first time doing it. So she had somebody come in to assist her with it. But she had me scared as heck because you can tell she was just like nervous a little bit. And then you could tell it was like her first time. So I was just praying to the guys that this lady didn't cut me. But at the same time, like, okay, if you do, baby, a lawsuit is coming soon. Mm -hmm. But she, the um, other lady that came in, she did explain to me that um, it's not uh, going to cut you because it's, um, what did she say? She was like, the I think she said like the cushion in the inside protects you from the cast or with the saw actually cutting you because it never touched me and as y'all can see she still had to cut um the cushion open once she uh finished sawing it down so yeah it never touched me and everything was still intact afterwards but that did not stop your girl from being scared i was extremely scared but once she um got finished cut it up um pried them open y'all see her prying them open and cut the little uh cushion it was all good y'all skin was still intact but as she did a mug
Y'all, yeah, I look so nasty. So don't be talking about me in the comments, but I'm gonna show y'all anyway. Y'all see my ankle still swole? I was just scratching it down. Look at all this nasty little dead skin on my foot. Ewey. But yeah, I'm hoping they don't have to put it back on. I would be so annoyed if they had to put it back on. She said it nine times out of the ten that they won't. But I'm tired, y'all. I had to freaking crutch down there to the x-ray room. Excuse me, and crutch back. But if they do just, like, put my boot on or whatever, that's going to be cool. But this y'all still hurt. Like, I can walk on it a little bit better than I was before. But it definitely still hurt. Like, it's definitely still hurting whatever like I would never want to break my ankle again like I was just telling the lady like yeah you see people in crutches or you see people they break their leg or their ankle but you would never understand what they go through unless you in it like that's so that is like a revelation to things in general you never understand what a person go through unless you walk in their shoes literally because I would never known that it would be this much on me like mentally physically emotionally like it stopped a lot of things and then with my mom passing too right before it happened or right I break my broke my ankle right before my mom passed and the weight of all of that stuff that I'm going through it just made took a toll on me for real in a worse way so that's one of the reasons I haven't been picking up the camera and stuff I just needed to relax y'all just really need to get myself together and just relax so yeah always remember before you speak on another person's situation or before you got something to say about what a person is doing how they doing it understand that you do not know what that person is going through in the inside mentally physically emotionally like give people grace let them handle things the way that they handle it. they're handling it the best way they know how and i know that was like way far-fetched but I just look at everything when I hear when I pay attention to things I look at everything as a revelation or I call I correspond it to my life or whatever just anything I look at signs like signs are a big thing in my life like I pay attention to the little details and signs because I always think it has something to do with a message that I'm being sent and that I'm being sent so yeah like I'd have never known what people actually go through and me being a stay-at-home mom which is more so harder than people who actually work a nine to five being that and and i mean physically because i physically have to do things every second of the second when it comes to my kids or for my kids i have to always i'm always like on the go 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 for them and i never get like a break so me breaking my ankle was like a very big and honestly y'all know i'm talking too much but i'm gonna talk to y'all for the doctor coming in i really feel like it was god telling me slow down sit down and take care of yourself because i'm a giver at heart like i'm if i put my husband first my kids first i put everybody before my needs even when it comes to um helping people with their emotions or you know people that got things going on in their life i put them before me i can be having a mental breakdown and won't nobody know it but i'll be helping you through your mental breakdown and i felt like because i tell you all look at signs for being everything Felt like God was telling me, I'm trying to make sure I wasn't a doctor. God was telling me to sit down and take care of yourself. Like, feel better. Get yourself, sit down, relax. You always doing this and doing that and trying to help this person and making sure this person got that and making sure that person got that. I really feel like this was a sign from God because I'm that person that likes to make sure my house is clean at all times, make sure my kids is clean and safe and fed and you know those things and making sure my husband has what he needs for his every day and i i barely get to have time for myself barely get to do things for myself barely get to go places for myself so it's like i feel like this was a sign from god telling me to rest and sit down and so 
everything happens for a reason y'all don't care what it is everything in life happens for a freaking reason and you may not 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 find out that reason at that moment you might find it out years later because it's things that i'm noticing and it's like damn okay now i see why i was put in that position or now i see why i had to deal with that person or these people in order to get to this person or this step like i'm telling y'all bitch pay attention to everything so yeah i'm about to see what they finna say hopefully they tell me that i'm good to go and they probably just give me a boot or something i did bring my other boot but i kind of want them to give me a new one because i kind of stretched it out put my cat when i had my cast on i was when i went to go look at the houses i had put my cast inside the boot and walked like that so i wouldn't be crutching through all the houses while i was looking at them so yeah hopefully they give me a new boot but yeah y'all i'll see y'all later of so i can kind of use them as comparison okay um but you had um a non-displaced medial malleolus, which means basically non-displaced medial malleolus. Okay. Mm -hmm. So non-displaced meaning that it did not look out of place. So you have a fracture, but sometimes they can break apart and they look in weird positions. Yours looks well aligned okay. um, from the last time. Medial malleolus is basically this kind of bump right here. So we've got our um, tibia, our big bone going kind of from the knee down to our mm -hmm. ankle joint, going along here. And on the inside, there's a little bone over here protruding. Mm -hmm. This is where our fracture is. This bone over here is your fibula. Mm -hmm. going, uh, going on the outside, this little bump on the outside is our lateral malleolus. Okay. So I can again show you. Mm -hmm. Here's your lateral malleolus. Mm -hmm. This is going to be your medial malleolus area. Got so you. around the area that you're fractured. So I had it on the which side? You had it on your medial. So kind of. Why? Because this side is the one that's swollen. That's swollen up. And it could be that still the ankle joint space itself, mm -hmm. that this side still has a okay. lot of the swelling. Yeah. Because so. this side don't hurt at all. Good. Yeah, yeah that one don't hurt at all. Okay. Yeah. And then what they also said is that you had a possible fracture line that went through the tibial plafond, oh, which is wow. a fancy word. I'm going to try to find it. Okay. I'm here to kind of go over with you. Okay. Let me zoom in. Okay. So you see that really tiny crack? Yep. I remember her showing me that. Okay. Yep. This is part of the tibial plafond. Okay. It's just the center space right here. And then here see it a little bit yeah right in the middle or no over there yeah i thought it that was it right there here i think and then they were thinking for medial malleolus like maybe it, it would be here okay okay but in here kind of zooming in so this is from today okay this is from before when you saw hannah Oh, so what's that little spot that's sticking out a little more on the right side? This Over there, here? yeah. This is part of your talus in your ankle joint space. It could just be that with the positioning, you were slightly angulated just different than in here. So it's just okay. protruding more. Okay. It's okay. Yeah, but great question. So. It's looking good to me. To be honest, like when I was looking at your initial ankle fractures, mm -hmm. nothing crazy stood out to me. So I... Okay, I see it more through here. Okay, mm. so you kind of see how the line extends up a little bit mm -hmm. there. So that's what they're looking at. So basically, I want to try to find that on here. Is that the old one that we see it on? That's the this new. This is the old one. That's yeah, the old one. This is from okay. January fourteenth. Okay. So you can kind of see it. So you yeah, can see, I see how it. it goes from that tibial yep. bone here. It goes All the way down. Up. Yeah. This whole area is considered our medial malleolus. Gotcha. Again, that inside part kind yeah. of extending upwards on here, and it's kind of flipped around. Right, right, right. So yeah. Here. I see you it. You can kind of see right here is where it was, and then it's extending up, but it just doesn't look as prominent as yeah, that. Yeah, for means sure. You kind of formed over new bone, new callus. Got which you. Is good. That's exactly what we want to see. Okay. Yeah, and so you remember that other side that we looked at right. before? How it was more prominent right here? Oh yeah, yeah. Not as noticeable. Yeah, here. for sure. So okay. Again, I think we've waited long enough. We've done a lot of really good healing. Okay. Um. Don't, let's see. So I'm trying to think the date of injury. You the 13th. Six, yes, the 13th. So it's been about six weeks from mm -hmm. the accident. With bones, it typically takes six to eight weeks to heal. Okay. Go ahead and try to get your heel all the way to the back. Good.
Does that feel okay? Mm hmm Okay. You did it perfect. Thank you. Thank you. You're welcome. I got a Thank you, y'all. So I am at home. Y'all heard what the doctor said. Y'all heard exactly what was going on with my ankle. Y'all seen the x-rays, so y'all already know what it is. They said I have to be in this boot for two weeks, and then I can finally start to put pressure on it. They want to give me some physical therapy so that my ankle is functioning the way it, as it should because I haven't been putting no actual weight on there in six weeks. So, yeah, they want to get all of that stuff done. Let me just say, it is time for me to get back to me cleaning up, doing what I normally do, my stay-at-home mom routine. I have been not doing it and just been in a funk. I've been really in a funk these last two months, for real, for real. So, it's time for me to get back to it. Finally, put this Christmas tree away. This Christmas tree been up since Christmas, before Christmas, since freaking December 1st. I have not put it away. Because I just didn't feel like it. So, yeah. I'm about to start doing everything that I need to do. About to start. Let me show y'all this. Look at these clothes. I've been washing clothes since yesterday. But I haven't folded any clothes. Like, i just been washing and just throwing them right here on this uh, island. And that's been that. So, I'm about to start. I don't know where I want to start. I got about two hours to get some stuff done before I have to go get my daughter from school. So, I think I'm about to excuse me, throw all the clothes on the couch and just fold them while I watch TV just to start, just to build my motivation up because I need to do something. I think I'm going to have the girls take the tree down with me when she get out of school, so I do that next. And then I'm probably going to deep clean room by room. I'm not going to put too much on myself. I'm not going to do too much because I'm still not like 100%. And my ankle feels good. Like I try to walk on it without um, the boot or whatever, and it actually did feel pretty good. It wasn't like in super, it wasn't in a lot of pain. I still can feel some things, but it honestly, for what I felt when I first um, broke my ankle, a whole 90 day, 90, not 90 day, 90 degree chain, like a 90, like a, y'all know what I'm trying to say, okay? I sound crazy right now, but y'all get the point. So yeah, I'm about to do the clothes, and then I'll see y'all in a minute. All right, y'all, I almost forgot the freaking camera at home. But after I got finished uh, folding up majority of the clothes, I got Lily ready. And I decided to surprise Vea with both of us standing out here waiting on her. So we standing outside waiting on her to come out. And I'm going to try to catch her reaction, but we don't know. But we'll see y'all. I'll see y'all in a minute. Okay. That's okay with your jacket. Okay. 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 <laughs> Alright y'all, so we just got to the park. I surprised them and brought them to the park. Why are you doing dangerous stuff? Get down. Don't do that because I don't want your sister start trying to do that, okay? But she will because she see you doing it. She always do what you do. Bye. y'all so it is later 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 in the day and just put the girls to bed they went to bed a little later than normal because i was um making dinner late so they just went to bed it's like nine o'clock and they bedtime is like 8 30 and i'm cleaning up or whatever got the guy beds clothes out and stuff for school tomorrow I'm about to finally get myself in the tub, get this foot soaking. I'm gonna take a bath in the shower. That's normally what I do when I'm trying to like clean up and I feel like my bath water gonna be icky or something. Or I like if I wanna take a bath and I haven't, and I've been doing some dirty junk all day or like cleaning all day or something. So, but I still wanna relax in the tub. I'll take a um, bath and then the shower. So today is about to be the first time I get to put my foot in water in the last four weeks. And this is about to be 
so lovely i already know so yeah i'm just cleaning up i didn't get a chance to um take the christmas tree down but i'll make that an effort this weekend because i know they are probably gonna she actually mad because she don't want the christmas tree to get taken down why i don't know we ain't even plugged it up since christmas so um I'll probably do that this weekend y'all seeing i think y'all might have seen all the clothes that i had to fold i folded all the clothes so literally it's no no clothes dirty for real you know whatever accumulated from today but other than that no clothes dirty um, the house is clean i'm about to start the dishwasher when i get out the tub hopefully i remember i just put the last load which was my cover in the dryer and yeah y'all that's pretty much that the girl should be asleep already uh, they've been in there for like 20 minutes now so they should be asleep already and i'm about to get in the tub get this open my foot i'll try to show y'all it when i get in the tub so yeah i'll see y'all in a minute all right y'all so i haven't even put my foot in yet it's about to be my first time i don't know if y'all can see not a lot but that's enough came back over here to end off the vlog i just got out the tub i'll probably sit in there for maybe for sure over an hour it's been about an hour and a half since i um got in the tub or whatever and i just can now i want to show y'all my leg of course i couldn't have my phone and i mean not my phone but my camera in there because i didn't want it to get wet so i'm so tired i'm not even editing the vlog for tonight i'm just gonna edit it tomorrow i'm gonna get i think tomorrow is gonna be an editing day for me so i'm gonna do a lot a lot of editing i have a lot to do for my phone a lot to do for youtube and just a lot of editing in general so i'm gonna start tomorrow this tomorrow's friday so they won't be going back to school or whatever so i'll be fine but i do want to show y'all the ending result i scrub the mess out of my leg okay y'all it was so much freaking dead skin as y'all can see there is none oh look at that it's a little up here y'all see that it's a little bit left up there i ain't really scrub up there but that's because i seen so much on my actual foot and y'all when i say it was so much on the top of my foot all up my leg everything i shaved my legs too because um because what am i trying to say oh because when i had my freaking cast on my hair was growing out so much it was sticking to the little um the little sock thingy that i had on and it hurt that was the only thing that was the only thing that irritated me like my feet my leg would itch a little bit my foot would itch a little bit but not a lot <laughs> So I was pretty good, but yeah, my foot is actually still completely swollen. Like y'all see that? I don't know. Let me see if y'all can see. Like y'all, excuse my little scarred up leg. I had um a couple things happen when I was younger, but um y'all see that? Yeah, y'all can see. Y'all see how it's more of an indentation here than over here? It's a little more swollen. And this one is darker. Wonder why? But yeah, this ankle is still pretty much swollen or whatever. So, <clears throat> y'all heard everything the doctor said. I feel like I recorded it. I can't remember, but if y'all didn't, she basically said that I still need some more healing to do. Um, so, I need to be in my boot for two weeks and still try not to put a lot of pressure on my foot or whatever. And, yeah, that's pretty much that. So, I'll be walking around in the house with the boot on or just everywhere and i'll just take it off like at night like what i was doing when i first got my ankle broken whatever so y'all as y'all can see i'm so tired i don't know if that's the end of the vlog or i'm just gonna carry on the next vlog i mean the next day into this but if it's not i love y'all if it is i'll see y'all tomorrow good night like the video comment on the video and if you're not 
already subscribed make sure y'all subscribe to the channel i love y'all good night hey guys and welcome back to my channel <laughs> y'all here lele good morning good morning y'all it is a good sunday i am about to finally do the girls hair and honestly finally take this treat out we're probably actually about to do it now I'm about to make the girls some breakfast first, and then we're going to get started because y'all know I always, um, if I have to shampoo my girls' hair or do anything like that, I always do their hair on Sundays because Avea has, don't have school on Monday, and then I do her hair on Monday. That way, it's just completely fresh for the week, and yeah, so that's what I'm about to get started on. Can, I get pizza then? Can you get a pizza for breakfast? No, ma'am. No, ham. No, sir. It's waffles in there. You got a bagel. It's stuff in there. That's breakfast. That's all you gonna eat. You ate them all yesterday. I'm not going, but I'm not going to the store today. And that's too, 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 too much. You love everything too much. So, anyways, y'all. Um, it feels so. I feel good today. Like I, I think I slept for a long time. I don't really know how long I slept, but I feel good that. I'm finally able to like move around and not be bound to that damn scooter. What? Can you get some crab legs today? Crackers. Crackers? I don't know. Um, I said I don't know. That means I don't know yet. That don't mean yes. That don't mean no. So I don't think you should be celebrating. Go get me a wipe there in the bathroom for sister. Y'all, they keep cutting me off. But yeah, I feel... Uh, good stop, stop knowing that I'm not bound to the scooter anymore and I can actually like freaking walk y'all don't even understand how night and day this feels for me because um I don't know what this little girl said to me I just feel like she just told me she don't feel like getting something but anyways y'all they keep interrupting me it's like night and day a night and day feeling of being able to walk again so yeah i never want to break another bone limb fracture it puncture it nick it sprain it i don't do none of that okay because this was literally the worst okay it was the worst it was the freaking worst so yeah i just started um our morning routine i opened the blind we brushed our teeth and now I'm about to get started on their breakfast because once they're done eating, I'm going to um, you up, baby. Once they're done eating, I'm going to start on it here. I like to kind of get that done early and not be all night with it. So. And y'all, tomorrow Yay! is the big day. My brother finds out exactly when he gets to come home. So, yeah, it's, it's giving good vibes this week. This feels like a good week for me, so I'm about to get started, y'all. I'll see y'all in a minute. Bye. All right, y'all. So I finally took the freaking tree down. Y'all can see nothing is there. It is a clear spot. Now I'm trying to see how I want to move the house around because it's been like this for a minute, and I'm tired of it. I think if I want to put the couch over there on the other wall or something. Uh, so yeah, I'm about to figure something out real quick and then I'm gonna get started on taking Bea hair down so I can shampoo that hair. I had got this off Amazon the other like a couple weeks ago because I always laid them on the sink and do their hair, but it'd be hard, of course, to do that. So I'm gonna um, put them on that this time. So I'm about to clean up real quick, do some little changes, and then I'll be right back. I don't literally play Tetris with this dang on couch because I didn't know what I wanted to put it or how I wanted to do it. So I literally moved it around so many times just to end it up, just to end up putting it how it already was. And then like, no, I just had it like this. Cause I'm a person that hates not changing something. I love change. So I always like to change my living room around, change my bedroom around, change the girls. Like I always like to change stuff around and I hate when I can't. It's so annoying, but this is what we came up with. Like we at the movies. We got one of the couches where they're right there, one here, and then we got the item right here. They like stop. So 
It's time for me to start taking a bed hair down, so I'm about to kind of straighten up a little bit, pop on some TV, and get to going. So I'll see y'all when, when I'm done. They here look a mess, y'all. They look a mess. My kids look a mess, so I'm trying not to show them. I don't know if y'all even seen them today, but I'm trying not to show them. So, yeah. Let me get that done, and then today is the editing day, so I'm going to go in my room. Once my husband wake up, I'm going to go in the room and just try to get some a lot of editing done, because I got like three videos to edit. So, yeah. See y'all. All right, y'all. So, I'm finally about to shampoo the girl's hair and just get it out the fucking way. I use this for Lele, because y'all know she got separate dermatitis and severe food allergies, so I use this oats and, oats and honey. Um, soothing shampoo and conditioner for her. And then for Avea, I just normally Daddy's use Daddy's the but Daddy wants me, girl. Watch out. <laughs> uh. So, yeah, I'm about to shampoo their hair and then get them, like, some braids until tomorrow. Cause like I said, I don't do their hair until, um... Monday, because Avea goes to school on Tuesday, so I always just like to start fresh on Monday. <sighs> Come on, Lele.
Alright y'all, so this is how the girl's hair turned out. Turn around, Lele. Say cheese. Cheese. He's so cute. Say so cute, baby. Turn around. I'm trying to get y'all to see the back. Come here, baby. Let me see your hair. Turn around. Say so cute. Say cheese. Y'all so cute. Wow. Alright, y'all. That was pretty much it for this video. I love y'all so, so, so much. Make sure y'all sure like, comment, share, subscribe. And make sure y'all leave a comment. Like, comment. Let me know what y'all want to see or something. But I love y'all so, so much. And I will see y'all in the next video. Good night.